Okay guys, today we're gonna make some mahi mahi fish. We are gonna start out by putting it in some cold water, letting it unthaw in there. While we are doing that, we're gonna go ahead and start on the sauce that we're gonna marinate it in. Okay, so to start off with our marinade, what we're gonna start off with is a half a cup of brown sugar. We have in half of a red onion chopped up. We have half of a lemon. Take this out. We're gonna dump all this straight into our pot. Okay. Try to make sure it ain't blurry for you guys. Okay. And we are going to put in just a little bit of garlic, just enough for some flavor. Okay. For our teriyaki sauce, let's see, probably about one fourth, yeah, about one fourth of a cup. I'm gonna put about one tablespoon and a half of our soy sauce here. Okay, we have some honey, probably about a tablespoon of it. There we go. Get these measurements down as much as I can for you guys. And we are going to put in a cup of water. Okay, now we're going to put this on medium low. We're going to let it slow cook. Once you see it start to bubble a little bit, then we'll turn it up and turn it off. While that is going, we're going to go ahead and start seasoning our fish. Okay, so what I've been doing is I have been cutting them at an angle like this. Okay. Don't judge Martha Stewart pan. She been through a lot. She done came through the other side. Okay. So we have this here. Okay. You need to dry your fish on each side and then season. Okay, we dried our fish. So we are going to start with our sunshine seasoning. Okay. Garlic. You can put your own seasonings on there. Seasoning to how you like it, to your taste. Some Old Bay. Got lucky and my pieces of fish are too thick this time, so I don't have to worry about getting too much on the side, especially with this marinade. It's really going to help. Okay, make sure you guys know. Got that famous days, the rib rub. Just literally doing a little sprinkle of each. The pepper pretty much is what I'm going to put most of most seasoning on there. Love me some pepper. Okay, flip, season the same. Okay, so both sides of our fish has been seasoned. This is our mixture. We're going to let it cool off for a few more minutes just to make sure it's cooled down. We're going to put it in here with our fish and put it in the refrigerator. Okay, guys, so we are going to take, make sure give me a quick stir real quick. And we're going to pour it right on top of our fish. Y'all, this smells <laughs> so good already. It smells so good, y'all. Make sure you guys can see that. So this is going to go in the refrigerator for at least 20 minutes. Um, if you can let it go any more extra time, 
especially like an hour, it will give you a lot more flavor. But 20 minutes is really all you need in the refrigerator for all your flavors to come together. Okay, we've let it sit out for about 15 minutes to get to room temperature. So we are going to go ahead and put out two and a half to three tablespoons of grape seed oil into our pan and go ahead and get it to the correct temperature that we want it at and put our fish in. Okay, so we have the heat on medium, medium. I've let it get to the temperature I want it at. and we are going to let this go it usually takes about six minutes then we'll flip it but we're not going to um touch it until then you literally want to get that crisp on that side so you want to let it just do what it needs to do you don't need to touch or do anything to it until we get ready to flip it while our fish is cooking we are going to put this in a pot and we are going to take the rest of our marinade and we are going to cook it for a few minutes. And then after we flip our fish, we will pour our cooked marinade on top. Okay guys, it has been six minutes and we are going to flip our fish. Okay, we got our fish flipped. We are going to let them go uh, probably another six minutes, maybe five minutes. And after that, we are going to pour our marinade on top and let it cook also. Okay, it has gone to the uh, amount of time we need. I really only had one big piece of fish that I had to make sure that I turned the sides on. You want to make sure you're getting all the sides on your fish to make sure that they're cooked evenly. Okay, it's hot. And just pour it directly over. Okay. And I am going to turn this up to medium high. And the sugar that is in our marinade is what is really going to cause it to start bubbling and to start sticking so we are going to put this on the timer it usually goes in between five to seven minutes and then we will scoop our fish out and put it on the platter okay guys and this here is Shay's mahi mahi marinated fish I hope you guys enjoy it. When my king gets home, I know he will. So I'm going to let you guys go. I want you to have a wonderful, blessed day. And until the next video, you guys stay cool with Shay's Kitchen. Bye.